believe it or not, stuff is actually happening here. Oh my God, it's getting warmer. Oh my God, look. On everything I love, on this channel, on everything, I just heard a f scream. Oh my God. That was a woman scream, clear as f***ing day. I don't know what to tell you. The legend of Crybaby Hollow is real. It's 100% real. Right now, I am at... I hear stuff. Okay, guys, right now, I am at Crybaby Hollow Bridge. I have this candy bar, brand new. Um, apparently, if you leave this candy bar at the bridge and you come back... There's like actually stuff out there. Um, and you come back, it'll have a bite taken out of it. So we're gonna do that. Why am I low-key spooked? Just set that right there. That's the bridge. So right now, I'm just gonna walk back to the car for a couple minutes. And apparently, in like five minutes, if you come back, it'll have a bite taken out of it. I fucking heard stuff. It is the woods, yeah, like trees creak and make noise. But that was kind of scary and I wasn't expecting it to be scary like right away. So I put that candy bar there and we're just gonna hang out for a little bit. And I think right now would be a good time for me to tell you about the history of Crybaby Hollow. <laughs> Screams, crying, hellhounds, and more. This is Crybaby Hollow. Thing gets closer, we continue to bring you stories of mystery, haunts, and legendary paranormal activity. In the middle of nowhere, Alabama resides one of the most haunted bridges in the country. While basically every state has a crybaby bridge, this one has more than just the same old story. Right down the road is a railroad crossing where in the 1990s, two teens were tragically killed. It's said if you park your car on this crossing, you will feel something push your car off of the tracks. Crybaby bridge. You get after theory. While the bridge itself has many variations, all of the stories place a mother and a baby here, with the baby being killed. One variation is the mother was in a wagon whenever they went over the bridge and the baby rolled out into the water and drowned. Another is the woman was a Confederate sympathizer, and when Union soldiers caught her, they killed her at the bridge and then killed the baby out of mercy. All of these are horrible, but the story is just the beginning. Here at Crybaby Hollow, it's said if you place a candy bar on the bridge and leave for a few minutes, when you come back, the candy bar will either be gone completely or have bites taken out of it. This has been tested by hundreds of people who claim this happens on the regular. No! 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 People report babies crying, the mother screaming, handprints and scratches on your car, glowing eyes, and cars often don't start after parking at Crybaby Hollow. There's been evidence of teens performing satanic rituals in the woods surrounding Crybaby Bridge. The result of these rituals are commonly seen as hellhounds. Whatever is here at Crybaby Hollow is regarded as one of the real Crybaby bridges in the country. And I'm here all alone for a terrifying haunted adventure. I never stopped recording, but you're obviously not gonna see most of that, but I have some equipment and we're about to go check on the candy bar and find out, see what happened. Was that already there? That little mark? It might have been. Okay, guys. I am thinking that nothing came up and took a bite, but that's okay, because we have equipment and we're gonna see if we can try to talk to these spirits. Um, here in a minute, we're gonna be doing a ritual um, at this bridge to kind of see if we can talk to something. 
Uh, right now I have the ghost hunting teddy bear I'm gonna set up and the REM pod. I'm not gonna pull out all of the equipment because it is such a little area and it is on a road. So if it comes down to it, I gotta be able to grab everything. So right now. Nuh uh. Did you guys hear that? We're gonna set this bear just right here. If there's anybody here and you wanna talk to me, all you have to do is touch this little hand. I'm not here to insult you or disrespect you in any way. I just want to have a nice conversation. I'm all by myself, but please don't let that discourage you from coming to talk to me. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Dawson. Come here just to talk to you. Oh my fucking God. Holy shit. Could you touch that again, please? Real quick, just touch that little red light like you just were that was super cool oh my god it just got super cold i was just about to say i was just about to say i got super cold all of a sudden and that's going fucking crazy could you i'm gonna reset this okay would you like me to do the ritual it's not bad i promise it's just possibly an easier way for us to talk oh my god it's getting warmer oh my god look the the little red one that means it's getting was that me i think that was me thank you so much for showing me you that's really cool i really appreciate it i just had to hop in real quick and explain this what you're about to hear i couldn't hear this with my own ears it's just like a Listen. I swear I hear like breathing over there. It's like a melody, like a lullaby at Cry Baby Bridge. What is that? I didn't hear that in person. It's just there in the footage. I don't even know if you can call that an EVP, but that's what an EVP is. Is there somebody out here with... Oh my God. And it's cold. It's cold. Guys, I'm sorry I'm resetting it. It's just that noise to me is a little annoying, but I'm going to pull out this little device right here. When I turn it on, it's going to flash up. All you have to do is walk up to this and touch it, and it should be able to spike up to different colors. Do you think you could do that for me? Do you guys hear that? Oh my god. Can you come up to this little device in my hand? Spike it up real quick. Believe it or not, stuff is actually happening here. Um, are you the woman? Are you the mother? If you are, could you please show me a sign in any way? Oh my God. Oh my God. I was just gonna say I heard a noise. There's a car coming. I just didn't want that car to hit me or freak out and like call the cops or something so obviously i went back to my car but before that we were getting some crazy stuff so let's go reset up okay again let me reset that okay is the woman the mother here with me right now if you are could you please show me a sign in any way I'm going to walk to the other side of the bridge. Is there anybody here with me? Oh my God. It just went off. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It went off. Could you do that again, please? I just want to talk. Maybe help you out. It's, the temperature's going off again. There's like f stuff going on out there. 100%. It is not just the mother and the baby here. 
Some people say they see lights, like red and green lights. Some people say they see eyes from evil dogs, like fucking hellhounds, which is scary as fuck since I'm out here all by myself. But do you think you could touch that red light again, please? Just one more time to confirm you're here. You guys hear that? Okay. On God. This is like a desolate road. There's no houses. I just heard a fucking dog. I swear to fucking God. That was actually like kind of scary. I mean you no harm. Just here to talk. Oh my God, again. Thank you. Do you think you could manifest the energy to touch that with your hand? Touch that red light, don't just get near it. And then that green light will go off and the harder you touch it, the more colors. Do you think you could try that out for me? Okay. I hear stuff. I know I'm being a pussy, but I'm hearing stuff in those woods and I don't want it to be like a coyote or something. So once again, I'm gonna go to the car real quick. So now that we're in the car, just to be safe, I'm gonna do the spirit box in here and we're just gonna see if anything comes through. What is your name? What'd that just say? If you want me to go back out towards the bridge, please say yes or no. It just said go back. If you want me to go back, could you tell me your name? Do you remember your name? That just said Dawson. I s oh my God, I'm pretty sure. Did you just say my name? Go back. That's what I heard. It sounded like a woman said leave. What happened here? Did you guys hear that? First of all, I thought I heard like a baby and that might have been on the spirit box but then when i shut it off it sounded like something tapped on my car which is what they say happens here they say like sometimes you'll come back and you'll find like handprints and all sorts of other stuff on your car this place is actually like freaking me out and i can't believe i'm alone because i've never done anything alone this is just to kind of prepare me for my three days alone series that I'm doing. I'm going back to the Brooks estate. I'm gonna live there for three days. And on the second day, I'm gonna throw the ghost birthday party like he was asking me to the last time we were there. So make sure you subscribe for that. So this is kind of just like a challenge for me. Like you have to do this because you're about to spend three days, not a couple hours. So I just have to man up and do this. So if everybody in the comments could just encourage me real quick, and just kind of be like, hey, you got this. Don't leave early. Like let's figure some stuff out. I think what I'm about to do, because it isn't windy, is try to set up the ritual on the bridge. Hello? Set that up. And we... That was me. Was it? No, it isn't. Hello? Are you the woman? The mom? Did you lose your child here? So here's the ritual. What I have to do is light this candle. I have to let that melt a little. Once it melts, I'm gonna put two pieces of paper right next to each side, yes and no. Then I'm going to draw a pentagram under each one. Sprinkle salt into the melted wax to bind the spirit to the candle. And then apparently, whichever way it goes, it's answering our questions. Yes. No. 
Then we have to draw a pentagram. We sprinkle a little salt to bind the spirit. So here is how the ritual goes. Would you like to speak to me? Oh my God, it's going towards yes. Okay, now it's saying no. Guys, it isn't windy, look at that. My name is Dawson. I call you here for no reason other than to talk. If you would like to talk, oh my God, it's just straight on yes. Look at that. Look at that. Are you the woman who lost her child here? Yes or no? It's kind of staying in the middle. Are you one of the teenagers who passed away at the railroad tracks nearby? No. Are you the rumored Confederate soldier that hangs out here? Look at it. It just moved from no. Now it's going over to yes. Oh my God. So you're a Confederate soldier. Did you actually kill the baby? That's one of the stories, guys. It's saying no. Do you know my name? Yes. Is it? Now it says no. Is my name Dawson? What the fuck? Did you guys hear that? Okay, thank you for talking. Goodbye. <laughs> guys, I'm not gonna lie. For just a possible random bridge in the middle of nowhere, the shit is scary as fuck, and I'm like empathic or whatever, and I genuinely feel like something's here with me. Plus we had the REM pod activity, the spirit box, and now the ritual. This is spooky. Did you? I, on everything I love, on this channel, on everything, I just heard a fucking scream. That's, did you hear those footsteps? I just heard a fucking scream in the distance and that's one of the main things they say happens. Let's go get more equipment. Oh my God, let's turn on the spear box. Are you the person that told me to come back? Did you like the ritual I did? Okay, I heard stuff and then it said yes. Clear as day, a woman's voice. Oh my God, oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Could you step away from that, please? Three, two, one. Oh my God, guys. I'm gonna reset this. Thank you so much. My name is Dawson. I don't come here to hurt you. I know I already said that. Oh my God, again. That's not me. That's not me. I'm way too far away. Oh my God. Thank you so much for touching that. Do you think you could touch it again real quick? Just to prove to everybody that you're here. That's all I wanna do and possibly help you if I can. The flashlight's on. I don't even know how to do that. How do I turn this off? Guys, I, I didn't do this. I don't know, oh, here we go. Found it. I had to hold a button for that. There's no way. I am getting a little spooked. Um, I don't know what to tell you. The legend of Crybaby Hollow is real. It's 100% real. <laughs> I really, really hope you guys could hear that scream. That was a woman scream, clear as fucking day, in the distance. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. This is, this is real, dude. A woman screaming, a woman literally screamed. I just heard something, like a voice. What the fuck? I was not expecting to come out here and get this stuff. Part of the reason why I don't like to come to these places 
is they're like, oh, people have car troubles, knock on wood. And I don't like that because they're usually pretty far from my house and I don't have money. Okay, it started. That's all I wanted to check. They say that there's a crybaby bridge in like every single state. Like some states even have like two and a lot of them have the same type of story, which makes me skeptical. But there's a thing called an egregore where enough people are scared of something and they just keep going to this place and manifesting it that eventually like it becomes like a real thing. The energy from all of that manifests into something actually there. I don't know if that's this place. Comment down below if you have a crybaby bridge in your state. And if you do, comment like, yeah, here in California, we have one of those, you know, it's there, you know, the story is very similar. Let me know. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn on the spirit box and we're gonna let it run while we take the Polaroids and see if it says anything. We're gonna take one and three, two, one. If there's any spirits here, could you please step in front of this big light and I'm gonna try to take a picture of you. Were you in any of the pictures? And I just wanna let any spirits here know that you cannot come with me. You must stay here. Could you say goodbye? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. Catch you on the next one. Okay, Dawson, man up. You got this. It's just a bridge.